Okay, so like many of you, uh, you may have just got yourself a new Xbox. Yep, Xbox. Well, whatever you got. You got yourself an Xbox One, S, maybe, One X, Series X, or Series S like me. And you got one controller that came with uh, AA batteries. So that's, that's kind of, that's no good. That's going to cost you a fortune down the road. Or you're like me, where you came from an Xbox One S, or could be a, any of the One series. And that's, that's, you can see my controllers here. That's a big difference. There's the one from the One S, and there's the one from the Series S. Little differences, you get kind of white in the, in the X logo. The triggers on the new one are white. Triggers on this one are black. And this one, of course, has the share button. But the bonus is, is, in regards to things like batteries, is that they share the same. So if I flip these over, here, again, the bottom one is the S, the top one. The bottom one is the 1S, the top one is the Series S. I don't know why they just did that, but they did. Anyways, so I have a battery in here, one that I've been using previously. So I have a bunch of controllers, two that were gonna be used for the Series S downstairs, and one that's gonna be used up here. So this one's gonna be used up here. But the question was, does this battery fit in here? And simple answer is, I believe so. I believe so. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that just to see. Actually, we'll, we'll try it right now. Okay, so we're taking the double A's out because that's great that they give you a free set, but again, I don't know why they didn't just include an actual built-in battery. And we're gonna take this one out, okay? So it has, this one has its own case. We just wanna make sure that everything kind of fits. So this one, this one's, this one's going in here. My guess is it should, should fit like a charm and that's gonna, that's gonna somehow just make sure it's in there good. That's gonna slide, slide there possibly. That goes on there. Does it fit? Does it not fit? Oh, look at what they've done. They have, I want you to see this. They have changed this. So when they talk about all the accessories fitting from your previous one, uh, maybe not necessarily the case. So here is this. This one does fit. The battery fits, right? But, and, and we could use this and close this up, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. No, because of the way it fits. Mm-hmm. This, of course, on this one, that fits in nice. That fits in good because of the way this mounts. So, we're gonna find out here. Maybe this one mounts differently. If not, we're just gonna do a review and use these with the old Xbox. And we're still gonna have to go on the hunt for a battery charger for your Xbox series. Let's let's see how these mount, because what happens is, you guys can see that, is that they come with their own back plate. My guess is that that, that piece, that piece is different, you know, right? Because it's, why would they have done that? Move these pieces in a different spot. This, that doesn't make sense. They don't want you to, be able to use your old batteries? All right, let's crack this open. This is the Fossman Dual Charging Conductive Charging Station. Okay, which is excellent. Now this is, they do come, you can see it here, they do come in two packs. This is the pack that we have, and it's $47. This is Canadian. I will put links down below. As you can see here, this is the Fosman Quad Pro Controller Charger, compatible with Xbox One, One X, One S, Elite Controllers, uh, Dual Dock, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So we'll be able to find out right away. Now they do make this. This one comes with four four batteries in it, so that you can you know if you're 
playing two people all the time and both controllers die, then you have two sitting on a charger. They do make this with just two controllers and two batteries. So if you're someone that is on occasion having another person or on occasion, you know, just switches between controllers, then you don't need to have two extra ones, then that's probably a better deal. So this opens somehow. Again, but you have this here with the Xbox controller. And we're, we're, now we're, now we're, 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 we're questioning. We're now we're questioning. So there's the actual charger. There's the bad, see the battery. I have a feeling this one may fit better. You see that? Cause that one doesn't have these weird, these pieces. It just looks like it just maybe just slides in. I'm really curious now because the other one kind of doesn't 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 fit right. You saw it. You saw it. And then we got more batteries here, which we're just gonna we got because this one comes with four, right? Which could be good because here's the other thing. Someone like me, it's my it's my box hand. Someone like me that has an Xbox One, an Xbox One S, and now a Series S. If I'm buying a battery charger, I want a battery charger that's gonna work with all of those consoles, not just the Xbox. And if you're gonna buy new controllers, it's gonna be this style. So you wanna make sure that your batteries fit. So uh, I'm super curious. Anyways, here is the Fosman, as you can see it here, Fosman, and you got your little lights. I think these are gonna be for what is charging. And it looks like the controller can go on that and then the two batteries can slide in here, which actually really nice layout. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna first, we're gonna do this. We're gonna see if this will somehow, is it gonna fit in there? S still no, see this? They've got their pins wrong. You guys can see that, right? The pins are off. You really just need this over. So um, I'm not super pleased that Microsoft did that. Nobody's talking about that with the batteries. External wireless, Xbox wireless controller, totally different, right? These are pushed in more so that they don't fit. Oh, Microsoft, you said compatible with all the accessories. No, incorrect, incorrect, liars, liars. So we're gonna take this one off because now we still need to test it. I do like the fact though with this one that it's all one piece, whereas this one, it's a battery and a top. I like this better. So this, this is just the old one again. This is this is the old one. This, see this? See how nice that slides in? Boom. Rocking and rolling, right? And then and then this, which is micro USB. So I'm a little disappointed in that. So this works great if you have an Xbox One, One X, or One S. I'm I am. I'm truly I'm a little saddened by the fact that they might not saddened with these guys. There's nothing they could do saddened with Microsoft that they decided to take their controllers and change them with something that really didn't need to be changed. Let's admit it that there was no reason that had to be changed. No reason. And now I got to either buy another one of these or I got to, how did these go? Or I gotta just run double A batteries. And I don't wanna I don't wanna be doing that. That's silly. So this, how does this go? Yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment. Okay, anyways. So we've got these. This is plugged in. I don't think there's an actual like on or off switch. You do have these little lights at the front. And I think that the moment you and I take one of these, and we just do we just lay it on there? How does this work? I don't even know. What does the picture look like? Picture looks like you sit it this way. Oh, there it goes. See the little light on the front? Charging. Now what's cool about it, we'll take that off, is that the second battery 
And I'm again, my I'm not dissing this charger because it was designed previously. This kind of goes, my guess, yeah, like that. So it just it just slides right in. And now you can see that one's charging. So you can get all these in here so that you got all these batteries charged. I like that because that even seals nice. That's really well designed, right? That one goes in there. Now we got two of them charging. Got this controller up here and it just, it just lays on there. And now we got three of them charging. And then this guy, which is the Series S controller, he's just, he's just all by himself. He's like, I want to join the party. And they're like, you're not invited. Microsoft said I was invited. It doesn't matter what they said. They lied to you. That's what they did. They lied to you. That's not working. Hmm. Well, all I'm going to say is good product. I like the product. I like the fact that for 47 bucks, if you want all these batteries, you can get the other one for, you know, I think it's like 30 something dollars for the extra money. If you don't mind, if you want the extra batteries, it's a good deal. Super nice and laid out, right? Everything mounts really good. If I had a battery in there, that's good. It's low profile, which I like. You guys can see that, right? It's, it sits really nice. There's the little lights on the front because you don't always have a lot of space and the other ones are seem way more vertical. So, but yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment, bit of a disappointment. Good product works well for the Xbox one series. Maybe, maybe I could figure out a way to break these pieces off maybe and have it function maybe, but do I want to do that? Right? I don't think I do. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you are looking at this for your Xbox One, it's great. If you're looking at it for your series, S or X, then, then not great. All right, guys, again, link down below, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm out.